Well, the big thing for this month is adding more bands. This is the last major uh, functionality thing that needed to be added to the game, and it is added to the game. So you buy it from the, uh, the marketplace, um, I already bought it, I lowered the price on it so it's actually affordable. You um, slap it down as a capital, just like that, and it unlocks four bands with another placeholder icon. I'll, <laughs> I'll redo these icons soon. Also, an awesome, amazing thing is i um, got a new computer so I can actually record this stuff without lag. So I'm going to hop into Warbands real quick. What happens is this is showing you a map with a bunch of E's, which stand for enemies, because there's a lot of red E's, there's a lot of red E's. Um, the map is freaking huge. When you first start, you're going to start around the edge of the map and uh, with each of your teams. And you spend warband orders to give issue them commands and move around the map. Um, you can capture nodes. These icons show that a different player has captured a node and you can attack them. So I have my team, the Chads. I am slowly marching my way towards the Demon Lord Castle, which is the ultimate goal of warbands. Once you get here, and if you can defeat the Demon King, then everyone in the entire game gets some massive rewards. And of course, if you claim this, then you get a bunch of points. So, Warbands has like a few goals. Um, and it's a monthly thing. So the first reward is uh, defeat the Demon Lord. Everyone gets points, and everyone receives bags of money and crystals. And then the second reward is based off of points. The top three ranks get a town named after them for the next month's map. And I'm going to add some future cosmetic rewards, but for now, that's that. So, I issued a order to move my team over one. And you can see that it's enemy level 185. The closer you get to the Demon Lord Castle, the higher the level, up to level 200. Now I'm going to attack this node, attacking enemies is free, and I have this, I have the attacking, um, kind of like quick mode, so you don't just sit here watching the same freaking things over and over again, because, uh, this is more about strategy. Um, at the end of the month, all the uh, points, warband points, are converted to a warband specific currency, which is these war coins. And I'll be adding uh, a, into the store some way to spend those. So, with Bay of Fish, I'm going to, I've already claimed, <clears throat> so I'm going to release and collect points. <clears throat> I've been holding it for a while, and so I've gained quite a few points. So I'm going to move over here to this enemy team with my last order. Uh, and see that is, it is protected by April, so I cannot attack you yet. But just wait. I will. I will attack you, and you will be destroyed. Let's see here. The... Uh, Warband orders are awarded every day up to nine, so you can hold a total of nine every day. Um, so if you have like five already, then you will get four to bring you up to nine. If you have zero orders, you're going to get nine orders. Simple math. Orders are consumed when moving, when attacking another player, which I'm going to use my last one for this, and also for claiming a node. So once you attack a player, it frees them from the node, and then it costs another order to claim it. Okay, so in adoption, I've increased the number of cats rewarded up to hunter rank plus one times four, and so this is a max, what's my do? 
And look at all these cats we got. We got a bunch of cats now. That's awesome, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to train a cat. Let's not train that one. Let's train. Uh, let's train. Let's train a garbage cat. You know what? Here we go. Meowsticles. All right. So, there's an. When you select the cat, there's now a train option. So this cat has a defense skill and 16 health and attack. And what we're going to do, we're going to, for demo purposes, we're going to take the skill away. And as we select a cat, we can see the 16 is less than these numbers, and so they're going to be green. Which increases the chance, or the which increases the bonus uh, numbers for each stat. <laughs> Did I say that right? All right. Anyway, so I'm going to collect. I'm going to select three cats that do not have a skill. And what this is going to do? It's going to remove a skill, and then the HP up is going to be high, and the attack up is going to be high. And this costs tuna, 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 and it's going to cost more tuna for every tier. So the 16, 16, and defense are now none, 24, and 24. So that was a decent increase. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select three cats that have the same skill. And if they're all the same and the skill is none, it's going to say add skill. Well, in this case, defense. Again, high and high. So we're going to train. Boom, look at that. 30 and 31. Awesome. Also, the tier went up, so stuff is going to cost more. We pick, um, can't pick cat, uh, locked cats because of reasons. But we can pick other cats. So, three random cats with different skills is not going to do anything, but high, high, and cost has gone up. Alright. So, now let's go to this other cat uh, King Psychopath. So, this one is a tier 7 with 130 and 136, and when we select cats, notice these down arrows. That means <clears throat> the stats are, or one of the stats is lower. So for this cat, 130, 125, 136, 137, so it's only one stat is higher, in this case attack. And if I select three lightning cats, so they all match, however, since this cat already has a skill, it's not going to replace it. Uh, HP up is low because only one of the cats has HP up, but attack is high because all three are high. And the cost it reflects this too. So, even though it's tier 7, it's a little bit lower since these bonuses aren't that good and no skill is being replaced. Alright, easy stuff, right? This is how you get. This is how you make your own custom cats. So if I select this cat, which has nothing, I select this cat, which has nothing, I select this cat, which has just one, look, the cost is zero because its attack up is low. It's not, this isn't a good thing to do, but it's a good way to get rid of cats. So, but if you select the ones that have higher skills, like, oh, we're going to get rid of Meme, no. So, high and attack is medium, cost is quite a bit higher because, well, the stat boost is going to be higher. And of course, the higher you get, the less cats that are going to be higher. That's why I've locked some of these, because, look, health 197, I'm going to save this for when I have a cat that is getting close to this and I need higher numbers. And... Yeah, so getting a 200-200 cat, that's gonna that's gonna be a little bit challenging, but not impossible. And that is how cat training works. So on April 1st, a special banner for April Fools, and you get uh, this character. Um, it's a shadow, and the name is randomized, and the face and personality is kind of randomized, and they don't really say much. Nice.